Each month, families in need will receive a helping hand from several local organizations. A drive through food distribution was held yesterday at Kings Canyon near Chestnut. The Fresno Center and its partners are providing assistance to families and individuals in need. For those that missed yesterday's event, we spoke to the center to find out how they can still take advantage of their services. We now welcome in Sherry Cruz with the Fresno Center. And Sherry, thank you for joining us. And why don't we start off by learning about the Fresno Center, who you serve in our community, and uh, what specifically you're offering um, during the pandemic. Absolutely. So the Fresno Center has been around uh, in the Fresno community for about 29 years now. We have a legacy of providing a myriad of services to equip individuals with becoming self-sufficient. Um, we do that through a one-stop center of mental health, education, and social services. And uh, we're very pleased to partner with Luis Chavez District 5 Council Member uh, to offer a drive-through food distribution this week, um, being able to serve over 600 families, making sure that they get um, fresh produce and uh, lots of different products that will help them during this COVID-19 crisis. And we really hope that folks are able to utilize other services that we're providing also um, during this time, such as uh, we're working with a rental assistance program, keep people in their homes. We're doing a myriad of, of mental health services and counseling and some of that is distance. And uh, we, we are uh, finding that people are accessing those services more now than ever. Um, our uh, services with our um, AmeriCorps program include 211 emergency phone operator services, and we're doing a, a lot of other things in the community. But this week, we're super excited about the partnership with Luis Chavez for food distribution. Well, if you served 600 families this week, then obviously there is a need. And, and are you seeing parents and children coming in? Are you seeing single moms? Who specifically um, are you noticing uh, seems to have the most need during this time? Stephanie, you have to say that uh, we do see more females being assertive with coming in and lining up and, and just really making sure they're at our food distribution early and ready to go. And um, sometimes we'll even see multiple families that are sharing together, making sure that they all are able to, to get there and receive the food. But I have to tell you, Stephanie, 3,500 calls the past two weeks regarding our rental assistance program and over um, 800 uh, folks have been reached through uh, the COVID-19 relief efforts working with uh, the city of Fresno and we're a recipient of a small grant there. So we're very, we're very much in the trenches right now through, through the efforts with COVID-19 disaster response and mental health and, um, and helping with food distribution. Well, it sounds like you're doing a, a good job of spreading the word so people know that these services are available. Um, so you had a distribution this week. Um, um, when is the next distribution planned? And if someone hadn't heard about this, how can they take part? What do they need to do? Absolutely. It's always, uh, we're moving into the last Monday of every month. You can go to the Fresno Center Facebook. We always post all of our services, including the food distribution, on our Facebook page. Um, so just, you know, if you follow us, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram as well, um, and we're happy to serve you guys. We're here for all of the community, uh, no questions asked. So there's no qualifications. If someone has a need, they can come and, and pick up whatever you have available at that time? Absolutely. We're so fortunate that we have a partnership with Food to Share and the Central California Food Bank. We make sure that through those collaborations, not only are we providing food um, and nourishment, we're providing masks for folks who need masks, and we're getting other donations along the way, and we're giving those out, no questions asked, absolutely for anyone who has a need. That's fantastic to know. What type of need does the Fresno Center have? Obviously, food has to be donated to you. I, I don't know if the masks are donated. What can the community do to help support these wonderful efforts that you're providing? Absolutely. Well, we really cherish our local farmers, and they've been so generous uh, to provide local products. And it always changes, and that's the beauty. So last time it was corn, this time it was eggplants, and we look forward to what's next. We'll take any and all of those donations, either through the Fresno Center or it can work through the 
uh, Central California Food Bank. And yes, the masks continue to be something that folks uh, do take advantage of. And fortunately, we've been getting various donors to do that. Of course, in August, we will look forward to a new donor to help us to make sure that we're um, distributing those masks, not only for the food distribution to make sure they're safe when they're coming through, but also post that when they're out in the community that they have those resources that they need. A mask for safety. We're all advocating wear masks when you leave your home. Yes. So we will take in all donations. We are a 501c3 organization, so uh, we're here to serve. All right. Well, ho hopefully it can continue um, to happen in our community. Obviously, there's a tremendous need here. Sherry Cruz with the Fresno Center, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Stephanie.